good afternoon my dear students today let us begin the first chapter the arithmetic progression certain set of numbers for example 1 2 3 4 dash 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 2 4 6 8 10 full stop then 5 10 15 20 25 dash dash then 10 20 30 40 50 full stop see when you observe this set of numbers you conclude that these numbers are written according to some rule for example 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 1 4 that means every number is having the common difference as one okay now 2 4 6 8 10 in this set of numbers we have the common difference is 2 that is 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 2 10 so then 5 10 15 20 here is the difference is 5 then here 10 20 30 40 50 50 then what you will conclude about these examples see in these examples all the set of numbers are written according to some rule in this case the rule is one is added here two is added for every number Here five is added. Here ten is added. So we call these numbers one, two, three as terms. These we call terms. Then here two, four, six, eight, ten are the terms. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five are the terms. Then you observe every set of numbers. These number, the first number. is called preceding the second number is called succeeding preceding term then this one is second a uh, succeeding term the succeeding term is obtained by adding one to the preceding terms the succeeding term is obtained by adding one to the this preceding term in this case the succeeding term is obtained by adding 2 to the preceding term and so on 5 10 15 here this one is the preceding term this one is the succeeding term so the set of numbers written according to some rule is called a sequence what that is called sequence sequence is the basic concept of the arithmetic progression sequence see these terms these numbers written whatever were are written are called terms so sequence what is sequence the set of numbers written according to some rule so sequence is classified according to the set of numbers written see here i have shown the continuation sign so this one is infinite sequence this one is infinite sequence here 2 4 6 8 10 these i have given a full stop to the this set of numbers so this is called finite sequence 
so here is a infinite sequence here is a finite sequence so how we have classified a sequence sequence is classified into two groups finite sequence infinite sequence the sequence having the limited number of terms is called finite sequence the sequence having the unlimited number of terms is called infinite sequence so after knowing the sequence we have categorized that one finite and infinite on the basis of sequence we can define the term arithmetic progression so how we can define the arithmetic progression a sequence in which the succeeding term is obtained by adding by adding some fixed number to the preceding one how we can define the arithmetic progression a sequence it is obviously a sequence a sequence in which the succeeding term is obtained a fixed number to the preceding one the preceding term that is called an arithmetic progression these are the examples for arithmetic progression 1,2,3,4,2,4,6,8,10,5,10,15,25,10,20,30,40,50 So, to learn in perfect way that these examples can be written in the symbolic form. For example, the general form of that arithmetic progression. General form of arithmetic progression is C, A, A, a plus d a plus 2d like this if i show this one as in a dot dot dot, dot format this one is infinite ab suppose if i finish this uh, arithmetic general form of arithmetic progression by giving a full stop that is called finite arithmetic progression here the a is the first term what we call this one is preceding term a plus d is the succeeding term how we define the, the progression a sequence in which succeeding term is obtained the common difference or a fixed difference with the preceding term so a a plus d a plus 2d dot 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 is also an example for infinite arithmetic progression a a plus d a plus 2d is the finite arithmetic progression so here we can call a as the first term what we may call a as a is the first term because a a plus d a plus 2d are the terms of the sequence you know so a a plus d a plus 2d a is the first term d is the common difference that is common difference then one thing you should remember the common difference should be a plus number or a negative number or a zero so the plus number that is positive number or negative number or zero which one the, the common difference then these are the examples for the arithmetic progression then you may observe whether these examples are uh, written according to this rule that is a a plus a here common difference is 10 so a is first term is 10 then a plus a common difference is added 10 that is 20 30 40 50 and so on so these are the examples for arithmetic progression we have also today we have learned, we have learned about the the general form of ap arithmetic progression the is denoted by ap popularly it is arithmetic progression is called ap so it is denoted by ap so a a plus c a plus 2d is the general form of arithmetic progression so now we have to know, know about the terms that is a is the first term d is the common difference 
common difference may be in the positive form or negative form or uh, that may be zero. So you try to write some more examples about the arithmetic progression. So my dear students, make one king size notebook for that arithmetic portion. That is first chapter is arithmetic progression. Then mm, you write down whatever we teach in the class. Every day there will be mathematics period for you. Then always on due to some the technical problems related to uh, that online working of that uh, mathematics, we need to have the the video footage for you. So every day we we'll prepare one class. Then that will be sent to you through the videos. Why we are sending the videos? Because if you do not, if you do not understand the class, you can have the video and you can repeat that. And you can see the videos and often. So today I will just for inform for providing information for the classes in what way we are conducting. I have explained about the uh, method. So daily there will be mathematics class for you. Please attend all the students attend for the classes. You can also call me if you are facing any difficulties related to the uh, taken uh, thought chapters. Then please tell your friends that the mathematics portion has begun today. Okay, by all the best. And from tomorrow, you write everything in the fair. Bye.